And Hello. welcome back to Doki Lit Club. Yeah. Ha! You managed it this time. Yeah, yeah, he did. I see you did it with the first one as well. It's yeah, because I'd, I'd run out of beer. He's then. learning. Mm. If he keeps on like this, we're all doomed. What have I done differently than the last one? I just you missed you're, you're, that. You, you didn't do welcome back, welcome back. Like 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 some carnival showman. Did I actually say welcome back, folks? Welcome back. You, you, no, you, you only used one welcome back. Wait, what that's why, we, that's what why we're amazed. What, what did I, I know it said one? welcome back so many times, it's gone weird on me. Wait, what did I say in the last one? Did I say, okay, start again. What did I say in the last one? Welcome back, folks, welcome back. Yeah, welcome no, back, no, folks, it's, welcome it's, back to such and such. It, yeah, it, I it, always it. do that. Exactly. Oh my god, I've and never you, noticed that. And you sound like some <laughs> carnival Wait, show I person. I have never noticed welcome, that. Welcome, folks, roll up, roll up to da 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 da. You've never noticed how redundant it is? Welcome back, folks, welcome back to such and such. Yeah. Oh my god, I've never noticed that. What the fuck have I been doing for the last eight years? Eight years? I always have the same intro. Eight, eight years? The year channel's been going for eight years, didn't it? Can't have been. At least six years. Six sounds more likely. Right. Three, I think this will be the sixth. Three, two, one. Let's try and that again. welcome back, folks, to Dorky Lit Club. Yes. Uh, I just had a bit of a mind fuck. Hooray! That was a very long time coming. Oh well. Shut up. But regardless, we are here, we are litting. <laughs> we have beer. We are here. We are lit. We have beer. No, no, we, no we, that, we you've have ruined it. that. You've ruined that. <laughs> Fuck you. Well, well, me no, no, you, not, not you gone. All right. Anyway. Okay, let's go. So uh, anyway, so we find ourselves smiling. I, I, te I temporarily take away your heroin. No, no. Do not touch the dragon. My dragon. But it's bad for you. If oh, you, my, oh, my dragon. If you spend your life chasing it, then wait. I'm thinking of something else. Yes, you are. Anyway, uh, Sayori so still her usual self. <laughs> but therein lies the unexpected reason I admire her. Unlike me, who has trouble finding my motivation, oh, any motivation at all. Sayori so can put her mind to things and make them. I come smell to taint life. sweat. That's not me. What? That's not me. Well, that's when you burped. I suppose it's that's why I ended Guinness. up playing a get on my case about things. Exactly. Oh, I swear! Oh, yeah. Guinness is taint sweat. Do you really want that argument right now, Lenny? Because I will kick your ass five way to Sunday. And yes, I know Sundays and five, three days, not five days. No, actually, it's um. Also, you said five ways, not five days. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. No. Okay, uh, let's continue before. I suppose that's why I end up letting her get on my case about things. I can't help but wonder what it would be like to see the world through her eyes. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> 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 Whoa! I wasn't expecting that. Observe the reflections. You will see the world through her eyes. Uh. I open my eyes to find Sayori's face filling my vision. Ah. I nearly fall out of my <laughs> uh, I nearly fell out of mine. You can't be, you're not using your old one. Whatever. <laughs> sorry. Come Wait. closer, come closer. Actually, I'm not close. sorry Little at all. Close. It's your fault for sleeping like that. This isn't the napping club. <laughs> Does our school have a napping club? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you're staying up late again, aren't you? No. no. You're gonna have less time for anime, you know. No. Did you ever join a, a club in high school? We didn't uh, have clubs yeah. in high school. What? Well, we didn't have clubs in high school. You didn't? The closest thing to a club was what we called D2, where me and Flum would used to hang out in this this like special needs classroom. But we'd be able to go on the computers at lunchtime and break time and just play flash games. Yeah. But that wasn't we technically that a well. club, but that was the closest thing we had. Yeah. <coughs> anyway, you need to get used to it. Don't say that so loud. <laughs> Making sure if you didn't hear about how you're a massive anime freak. It's Isn't true it? though. No. Yeah. I know, I know. You're always looking out for me. <laughs> It's what I do best. Yeah. That's a problem. No, it's not. What about you? Oh. 
You look out for me better than you look out for yourself. You're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? That's it. Uh, not, not every day. Yeah, no, I'm not convinced for a minute. How many days this past week have you gotten up on time? None of them. Uh, oh, I know, I know a way we can solve this problem. If you Go say sleep together, I'm gonna keep. Oh, well, I don't need to say it. Okay, you've already said it. Was that your solution? I plead the fifth. <laughs> you can't. We're not in America. I don't care. That's it's a secret. Oh, yeah. See, I nearly fell out the chair. Then. Well, don't do what you did. I'm leaning forward to get beer, though. Uh, how can that lead you falling out of the chair? Because it's that I lean forward and the chair starts leaning forward. I knew it. Come on. At least give me the benefit of the doubt. Oh, I'm not tired. <sighs> yes, you are. Shut up. Look, sir, it's written all over you. Huh? <laughs> oh, God. How is it written all over me? I remember doing that like six years ago when I used to. I, I, I still had a real problem of like, you know, the taking idiot. every. I know I took every. I still t I take every, took everything literally, and I still do sometimes. Yeah. That was like the thing. So it's my mum said, "It's all over your face." Like, is what, it? Let me go. And to I looked to go in the mirror. mirror. Yeah. I'm like, what? You were clearly in a rush this morning. Look, your hair is sticking out all around here. And she goes, mm. <laughs> Man, you really need a brush for this? <laughs> My hair is just really hard to get right. I won't fall for that. More to you. There's more than just your hair. Look, your bow isn't straight either. And there's toothpaste stain on your collar. Uh, but nobody would ever notice. Well, I just did. Yes. Of course they would. Nobody's going to tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. Fortunately, I really don't care about that. Ah. You meanie. Yeah, you. You don't even keep your blazer buttoned up. No one does. Actually, they do. Well, they shouldn't. I never did. I didn't have a blazer. You lucky sod. You I didn't even have a tie. You lucky a sod. <laughs> wait, wait, well, well I, 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 I liked the blazer and clip-on tie. Clip-on tie? You lucky sod. <laughs> <laughs> you, had to, you, you had to make do with a, with a makeshift noose. Mm. Yes. I'm pretty sure that's why my school didn't have ties. Well, you, well, they were afraid people would use them to kill each other. Well, G considering, I we be cons yes. considering we already had a suicide at school by a teacher, yeah. Mm, good point. Oh, Your well. school as well? Wasn't just Hunley? Hunley High School was the school I went to. Oh. I thought you went to Hunley, right? No, I went to Hunley High School. My English teacher from my first and second years said it was suicide, and I saw him five minutes before we found out later. He was trying to commit suicide mm. in his classroom. Okay. Uh, right. Yeah. Anyway, seriously, why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> That's Hulk. super mean. Hulk. Hulk. Sorry, but you'll thank me later. Okay. Once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. <laughs> um. Yeah. Hey, this image is making my perspective get hurt. This is so funny. Wait, what? What is? Well, I was just thinking how weird it is to have a friend who does these kinds of things. What? Well, tells you that you don't have your clothes on properly? Huh? Don't say that. Hey. Don't make me feel weird about it. Stupid. It's okay though. I'm happy we're like this. Aren't you? <laughs> uh, I uh, guess. Yeah. Hey, be careful. The button might come off. Which button? 
<laughs> why is this one? Why is this one so hard to close? Gee, let me think. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I, I was wondering whether it was that one. Mm. Does this thing even fit you properly? Not anymore. <laughs> it did when I bought it. Uh, I'm assuming that was at the start of the year, and we're now like at least halfway through, probably more. Mm. If you ever buttoned it up, you'd have noticed sooner that it doesn't fit. Mm. Yeah, but then she'd have had to shell out money for a new one. Yeah. What are you smiling about? It means my boobs got bigger again! <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that out loud. Especially not when my hands are near them. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, you look much better now. So, uh, why does it feel strange to see it burned? <laughs> ah. It's because she's so used to seeing it not. Yeah. Another good reason to never wear a blazer. I have to wear a tweed waistcoat at work. You poor, poor Tweed. Fucker. Waistcoat. Oh. I can I can in get behind. Summer. Waistcoat I can get behind. Tweed Not so much. In summer. As well as a white shirt. In fact I made the rule up when of or stuff when it gets to like before, at least twenty degrees, stuff can take waistcoats off because it's bullshit. Yes. Go on. White tweed! Because head office is the stick bastards! But also because head office never has to wear them. Exactly. Anyway, it's so stuffy. Uh, it's just not worth it at all. She un okay. She unbutton hastily unbuttons the blazer, thus having to save the the uh, art department drawing another set of sprites. Yeah, pretty much. That's so much better. Wee. <laughs> so if I keep it unbuttoned, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? Not necessarily. What kind of logic is that? And why are you saying that like it's a good thing? Well, maybe I she wants a girlfriend. Or, or either that, or she's trying to save herself for uh, crispy bacon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of looks like the way they wish we'd be having. Mm. Mm. Because if I had a boyfriend, then he wouldn't ever, let, wouldn't even let you do things like this. Ah. And you take care of me better than anyone else would, anyway. Gee, oh. how's this gonna go down? Badly. It's really cute. So that's why I'm keeping it on, button. <laughs> Stop saying these embarrassing things. We're the only ones getting embarrassed here, so. Yeah. I'm not. Well, that are characters. We, we, sorry. we, the, we the people of we Crispy the, Bacon. We the character. So I am. So I'm not part of the character anymore? Well, no, we are no. all the character. Do you want me to throw this gitter over here? No, because then I'll smell like taint sweat. How did I An know island. you were going to say that? <laughs> I didn't say anything embarrassing. Don't throw me at me. <laughs> okay, I'll give you that one. Well, stop being insulted by it. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, anyway, just focus on try on try just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. Okay. I'm left you focus. It. Oh. Okay. Sure. As I said. That, uh, a very easy way to solve these problems. Yes, but they're not going to do that. And why? They're ch high school children. It's they're still within the... Uh, 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 in Japan, maybe, but not here. They do look to be at least 16. Not to me, they don't. It's a deal. <laughs> and this is really better take. Oh, the okay. person who regularly checks people's age, not to me. So that came out really wrong, didn't it? Yes, yes it did. Uh, okay, I work at Vienna Bar, I ID people all the time. As long as you acknowledge that Yuri and Monica look at least 16. Maybe even close to 18. They don't. Yes, they do. I'm working on bases like from animation to, I'm guessing what I would assume in real life. They don't look. They look at least 15, 16. At the most. 14, you 15. You uh, overestimate how old our 14 and 15 year olds look. Oh no, I'm very well known with them. I've got yeah, about anyway. six 14 year olds trying to get into my pub. And they look, <laughs> they looked about there, like that. 
Mm-hmm. Maybe you should come wake me up in the morning. In fact, five, five, five of them. I've still got their fake driver's license. I'm going to be on the bar. You're doing it again, Sayori. But I was joking that time. No, she wasn't. It's impossible to tell with you sometimes. But what's that? That would be oh, the stack of balls. Yeah, the rest, the rest of my not prings. <laughs> okay, everyone. Gather round and I'll mark our vaginas with a special sign. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> References. Yeah. Eh? Monica suddenly called. Why don't we share the poems now? Yay! I can't wait to read yours, Crispy. Same. Uh, uh, fe same. The uh, trots away to retrieve poem. And we'll go Sayori first. Yeah. Oh! <gasps> oh my goodness! This is so good, crispy bacon. Ha! <laughs> Hell yeah! This is good, crispy bacon. Mm -hmm. I love it, especially after yesterday's. Ugh! Mm -hmm. You're too honest sometimes. No, but really, I want to put this on my wall. Yeah, sure. Can I? Sayori, you must be seriously overreacting. <laughs> Why did we just say yes? Also, we never, we never, we never actually find out what our poem looks like. No. I'm guessing on the court of obviously with the jumping sprites, it means the certain person would yeah. like it more if more words from them on their end. Yeah. But we don't still don't know what what has been assembled from our randomly chosen words. I'm not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Wait, that... Isn't that what most good writers say about their work? Uh... I don't know. I'm not a I good writer. I'm not a writer. I'm not a good writer. I've only wrote one poem on my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes. You did that on purpose just to annoy me, didn't you? <laughs> no, I didn't. You, you, you dragged it in like... That's what most writers said. Like, I wouldn't know I'm not a good writer. I've only published one thing. <laughs> Yes, and therefore you have been published. Therefore, we reserve the right to punch you in the face. I wouldn't do that. No, 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 that's not a reason to punch him in the face. The reason to punch him in the face is because he he, he, he drops it in conversation whenever he gets a chance. Well, at least when we're doing this. Yeah. Uh, well, there have been times when we haven't I didn't do it this. the last two episodes, sir. So Alright, fine. That's a valid point. I have no idea what I'm doing. <coughs> well... Maybe that's why it's so good! Because I have no idea what I like either. Ooh. Jeez. I'm sure Yuri's opinion has to be a little more constructive than this. That explains Maybe why. Maybe even Natsuki's! <laughs> that, 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 that explains why she, uh, her sprite jumped up when we picked words that were clearly for, for Yuri. Hmm. Are you sure you don't like it just because we wrote it? Uh. Well, I'm sure that's part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of other people, you know? So when I read your poem, it's not just a poem. It's a crispy bacon poem! Uh, da -da -da -da. Would that be a poem written on some crispy bacon? An edible poem, that would be interesting. And like that makes it underwear. feel extra special. Well, how did I know you were going to say something like that? Because there is edible underwear made out of bacon. Okay. Well, you can feel your feelings in it. No, wait, no, it's jerky. It's beef. Uh, it's beef jerky. Yeah. <laughs> way to make me lose interest. <laughs> <laughs> you were interested when it was bacon. Yes. I mean, did you not know him in bacon? No. Yeah, but underwear, grease, bad for skin, you especially wear, sensitive skin. You don't wear <laughs> edible underwear. You eat it. No, 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 no your you, partner you wears eat, it, and, and then, you then you eat it, it off it. Yes. Okay. Come on, even I know that. Hugs the sheets against her chest. You're so weird. <laughs> so, you're so weird, Fenners. Oh, Infinity War. I'm not very good at figuring out if poems are good or bad. I'm quoting like kind of a video. Of course you are. References. But that's why I just go by my heart. If it makes me feel things, then it must be a good poem. Uh, no, I'm not, I'm not going there. 
<laughs> then again, I guess conveying feelings is a pretty important part of the whole thing. Maybe. I don't even know what kind of writing you like in the first place. Yeah. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why don't you at least try giving it some thought? Aww. You wanna write something for me? Yes, actually. That's so sweet! Yeah, right. But you're always thinking about other people. You need to think about yourself once in a while. If you don't, you might end up getting hurt at some point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I don't really know what you mean, but I'll try to keep it in mind. Well, whatever. Let's see. Hmm, I guess I like HAPPY POEMS! That is not the mood we were going for! I was going to say, given all the dark and, no, no, dark and depressing words we chose, including depression... Although there was, all the, all the, all the was climax and explode. All your picks, by the way. Yeah, well... Well, sometimes I like sad poems, too. Sometimes a little bit of both. There's a word for that, right? Uh... Please help us, Edgelord von Graminazzi. <laughs> <laughs> Distinctly average. A well-balanced human. Okay. So so. What's the word I'm looking for? Bittersweet! Oh, there we go. Yeah. I like things that are happy and things that are sad. Happy and sad? I can't see you liking something sad. <laughs> well, uh. I like happy the most. But sometimes when you have a little rain cloud in your head. Sometimes when you have a little rain cloud in your head, rainwater leaks out of your ears. Hmm. A sad poem can help give the rain cloud a little hug, <coughs> and then you start crying. And make a nice happy rainbow. See, I told you rainbows. Rainbows! Doctor, I think I might be a homosexual. How can I you tell? Rainbows! I baked you a pie. Oh boy, what flavor? Pie flavor. There's something in your face. It was pain! That's unexpectedly poetic. Okay, I don't know. I know. It is? Maybe I'm getting better at expressing my feelings after all. Thanks, Crispy Bacon. I should go write that down then. Wait, have you not written your poem again? No, you just read no, it. No, 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 we haven't read hers. She's read ours. Oh, read. Let's read hers. Bottles! I pop off my scalp like the lid of a cookie jar. It's the secret place where I keep all my dreams. Little balls of sunshine all rubbing together like a bundle of kittens. I reach inside with my thumb and forefinger and pluck one out. It's warm and tingly, but there's no time to waste. I put it in a bottle to keep it safe. And I put the bottle on the shelf with all the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts in bottles all in a row. My collection makes me lots of friends. Each bottle a start to make amends. Sometimes my friend feels a certain way. Down comes a bottle to save the day. Night after night, more dreams. Friend after friend, more bottles. Deeper and deeper, my fingers go. <laughs> like exploring a dark cave, discovering the secrets, hiding in the nooks and crannies. <laughs> oh dear. Digging and digging, scraping and scraping. I blow dust off my bottle caps. It doesn't feel like time elapsed. My empty shelf could use some more. My friends look through my locked front door. Finally all done, I open up and in come my friends. In they come in such a hurry, do they want my bottles that much? I frantically pull them from the shelf, one after the other, holding them out to each and every friend, each and every bottle. But every time I let one go, it shatters against the tiles between my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts. Happy thoughts in shards all over the floor. They're supposed to be for my friends, my friends who aren't smiling. They're all shouting, pleading something. But all I hear is echo, 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 echo inside my head. Oh, mm. damn. It was... It that is deep. That uh, is dark. It is very dark. It was a bit messy, but uh, methinks it was intentionally in intentionally written messily. Mm. Holy crap! Did you really write this? Yes. Didn't I tell you yesterday I was going to write the best poem ever? Yeah, but... I didn't expect something like this coming from you. <laughs> <coughs> Monica taught me a whole lot. And I've been really in touch with my feelings recently. Your feelings are scary! I mean, I mean that, that's, coming from, that's coming from someone who has to live in my head. Yes. 
And that's coming from someone who's living in the same house as him. <laughs> and that's coming from that. someone who knows both of you. Yes. <laughs> it's almost kind of creepy. Creepy? Well, not exactly. Maybe because I'm so used to you being cheerful! Never mind. I'm thinking too hard about it. <laughs> the, point, the point is, it came out good. So you should be <laughs> proud of it. Aw, thanks. I feel like... I feel like I was meant to express myself this way. It even helps me understand my own I, feelings I, a bit I, I just... I, I, I want to make a slight change to one of those words. Well, this on this one or the last one? One of the one. last one. Uh, express myself this way? Rearrange the letters of one of those words, add a few, and then remove a few. What do you got? I feel like I was meant to expose myself this way. Yes. Is it weird that I just understand immediately what he's thinking? Yes. I thought so. It even helps me understand my Exhibitionism. Uh, writing is like magic. You've gotten pretty passionate about this, huh? I hope you keep it up. Yeah! Writing's the best. I'm gonna keep writing until I die. Um, I'm foreshadowing! There we go. <coughs> I, I, we just need a big button no. for that. <laughs> foreshadowing! Why did you sound like Sloth? Sloth would love chunk! No, it's like da da da. In like da da da. Yeah, but why did you. Why, 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 why did you say it like. Never mind. Mm, don't get ahead of yourself. She's always had uh, a <laughs> habit of getting obsessed by some with something, dropping it about a week later. Is this one of those times? Oh no. Mm. Makes it hard for me to be pessimistic. Right. Okay, I do well, not think we have enough time to go through some else's poem completely. Yeah. Uh, and I need a drink. Already? Yes. There's hardly any juice left. We need know. food. Yeah. I also, know. yeah. So, uh, we're going to end this one a little earlier than normal. But, uh, not that much earlier. But, we will see you next time. I've been gone. I'm Rewind. I've been Honey Fry. And we'll see you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.